Hello, fish lovers. I mean, hello, everybody. And welcome to Flying Tuna Can 2, Fishy Boogaloo. So, what are we doing now? Well, we're going to be chatting a lot and we're going to try to fly the MiG-21 again. Again, there's no flight plan. Who the care, hell cares about a flight plan, right? And flying this crate. Well, it's going to be quite interesting. We are here at Soj Adler. I'm still waiting for the environmental load and well let's let's try making a flight plan shall we and let's see what can we figure out okie dokie Just gonna do a tiny bit of housekeeping here, so let's think about the flight plan. So I said I'm going to try to use the RSBN this time. I haven't really watched any sort of, uh, well, you know, how to use it. And let's see what can we do. Well, what country is this for anyway? Oh, okay, it's this one. I'm not gonna take any weapons, I'll just keep the um, whatchamacallum. Fuel tanks! Yay, fuel tanks. And let's see what's going to happen. So. Okay, let's check the F10 map. I'll just cheat like a bastard. So I think we're gonna to use RSBN. I guess we can go to Mostok. Mostok has a very nice RSBN, I guess. Yeah, it has one on uh, channel 20 MZ, and we can actually do a quick, a quick bit of a flight plan. Mm, let's do this very quickly. So we can fly here, which I remember from previously. Well, let's actually try to write this down. Before I forget, well, guess what? I don't have any uh, writing implements at hand. Nope, all I have is my paint brushes. Oh, I do have writing implements. My mistake. I'm gonna just pick up a piece of paper that I have here and that I do not need. Just some old offers that people are trying to sell me all sorts of things. You'd be surprised. So let's just write on the back of this. Just a piece paper so you don't have anything else at hand so we're going to well, let's check what the runways are here at Sochi so this one we have runways 6 and 24 so I guess we're gonna take runway 24 6 is not a good idea to take so we're gonna fly this so we're gonna try to use the NDBs again NDB so it was 2 1 station 2. Uh, if I remember, this was. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's go back to that uh, cockpit and see what's going on. I really need to find. Uh, these are just airport charts. I don't really care about these at the moment because there's no ATC, so we're still here in the cockpit. So let's quickly set up a flight plan. Come on, enough airport charts. All right, so we need to also then fly to Andy B. Well, sector two one, station three. I think Mastok is yeah, Mastok is here. Then we can use station six. So we're going to mix Andy B with. 1 station 6 and from there let's go back to the F10 map not the F F11 F10 so station 6 was somewhere here I think one of these anyway station 6 was here at the end of the lake so I think it's this one uh, 
Okay, then we're going to try to use the RSBN here if there is one. There is none, so I guess we have to try to use some stations. So six. Well, I guess we can use ND. The 2 1 station 9, since we are going around. And Mazdoq does have an NDP, but it also has an RSPN, which we can check from here. Okay, then we're going to, after that, we're going to tune to RSPN channel. 20 and I think we're going to use runway 8 zero 08 with RSBN. This is RSBN for landing by the way. Channel 22. We should have enough fuel, but just to be sure, I'm going to do a little trick here. Well, it's not a trick, it's a... I'm going to rearm and refuel. I'm carrying no missiles this time and no... Um, ah, what do you call them? Chaps and flares. Let's, let's install a 800 liter fuel tank. Uh, the wings cannot take more than 490 liters, so... Request rearming. Uh, the country for this is USA, but it doesn't really matter. So they're going to take the center tank and attach the... centerline fuel tank. A bigger one. And I think they've already added. Yeah, they already added. So let's let's get the burb started. Let's do an F twelve here. It was a bit out of alignment. I really hope this doesn't break this time, so I'm not going to use ground power. I'll just use plain old batteries. And this is on. Pumps are on. Engine MPU. Throttle is unlocked. And now we're going to preset this to channel 20. I have to click until it reaches channel 20. Not 22, 20. And now let's turn on all these systems. I'm not going to turn on the weapon systems because we have no need of them. And this is... Okay, what is your problem buddy? What's this? That's... DC generator is not connected. Yep, I missed that one. Okay, flaps are set to take off. We're going to align the flight director system. Remove the landing gear guard. Okay, let's see. 
Oh, hello, nobody there. Uh, I don't think we need the paper, but let's just put it on for old time's sake. Okay, this is tuned to Arc 9, so let's go to the Arc 9. First station is 2 1 and station 2, sector 2 1. And station 2. Okay. Setting trim. Apparently there's no way to set this radar at the altimeter. Which is a damn shame. I'm gonna set the nose nose wheel brake a bit, do a brakes test. Okay. On setting nose wheel brake and I think we're ready to go. Runway 24 is to our left, and we're just going to follow the taxiway. And just to be sure, after takeoff, we're going to have to turn... Where are we here? Just quickly towards the station. So then we have to turn roughly... Hit to heading 310. Okay, that's fine. Again, this has pneumatic brakes, and of course, feel free to join the chat. That's why I'm doing this. One of the main reasons I'm streaming is to reach out to people and of course to share the things I enjoy. I think Sochi is actually a civilian airport, I'm just using it and abusing it.
taxiing this is actually very easy once you get used to it. I think we're going to try to fly around 6,000 meters, so 27,000 feet. It's a bit of a long taxi way, taxi to the runway, but usually I start from positions more like this, but that MiG was just parked over there, so. So, fish fans, how's it going? Hmm, here we go, let's see. Why haven't I taken one of the earlier taxiways? Because I like having the full length of the runway, and this guy actually has a very long runway. This airfield is one of the longest ones, I think. Kutaisi actually also has quite a long runway. There's a bunch of MI8s parked over there. MI8 helicopters, that is. Let me just check how long is this runway exactly, because this is a damn long runway. Oh yeah, there's a dead end here. Could have taken the other path, but it's fine. And no, I do not hate the MiG-21. I'm neutrally opinionated about... A red Force or Blue Force aircraft, I fly both in equal measure. I'm sorry if I seem focused, but I really want to get off the ground. This flight itself should not be too long. The plane itself is quite fast, so... That is actually, if you're interested, I have a Finnish Air Force skin. Actually, the same plane that I have here is nowadays on top of 
Verkokaupa. If you ever visit Helsinki, definitely go see it. There's a MiG-21 base there. You can go, uh, you know, take a look at it. It's pretty cool, actually. I like it a lot. Okay, there's no traffic, so let's start hogging the runway because, well, we're the only ones around here. Okay, let's Sushi in field one one request takeoff. Hello, buddy. Hey, ATC. Well, we can always check here seven four eight sixty seven. This doesn't make any sense. Okay, well, let's just put it to zero and we'll be happy about it. I can pretty much see anything, everything in the cockpit. Since it's evening type, I'm gonna put on the cockpit illumination. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, okay. Uh, I just see them a little bit better like this, so that's why I have it on. Okay, let's advance a bit and center up. Okay, we are looking straight forward. Alright, I think we're ready to go. There's no traffic whatsoever. And we're going to do an afterburner takeoff this time. Afterburner is running. There we go. 200 kilometers an hour. And we're up. Okay, I'm going to gear up, flaps fully up, and I'm turning to 310, or more or less just following the coast. Altitude's good. Closing into 1000 meters.
I'm gonna just reduce our climb a little bit here. We're off after burner, so we're not burning, guzzling fuel like a guzzler. We're just gently climbing, and I'm gonna set the trim for climb and maintain about 500 kilometers an hour. Heading is 305, I think. And hello viewers, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. If you feel like chatting, that's why I'm here. I'll be here for the next probably two hours. We are flying a round trip around the Caucasus. Actually, it's the oldest map in this year, but still my favorite. It's very green. The other two, sure, Persian Gulf and Nevada are cool, but... This is just, this doesn't really look like a desolate wasteland, let me put it that way. Let's check our altitude, we're closing into 3000 meters. And climbing at 500 kilometers an hour. Uh, it's a bit slow for a MiG-21, but I'm in no hurry, so as long as I can maintain the speed, that's fine. And there's the NDB, the ARC station. You can hear the Morse code, beep, beep, beep. There's one thing I need to do. I need to set the RSBN channel for landing, which is not 90, it's 22, apologies. Okay, now that's set, I can just... Look, Ma, one hand. Okay, since I know I'm going the right way, I'm gonna... Cut off the volume a little bit. Oh, we're a bit slow, let's level off. Well, if the sound doesn't bother you, then we can just keep the... NDB running. And we are descending. Why are we descending? Well, according to my instruments, I'm losing speed and altitude, but I don't seem to be doing that. Okay, that was a glitch, I think. I've seen the bug before in the MiG-21, but I've never assumed I would see it again. Okay, I can reduce the climb speed. I don't really need to go that fast.
Luckily, most of the MDB stations we are using are in the same, actually, sector. So it's... That was really weird. Should I send a, uh, a bug ticket, maybe, to the developer? Okay, I think I've set the altimeter to the right setting. I don't see one, so... I don't want to go on full afterburner again, so... Okay, I think we're at about the... Altitude I wanted to fly. I'll just fly by hand more fun that way at least I actually get to Try to exercise flying this Rather than let the autopilot do the job it does have an autopilot very simple like you know altitude attitude maintain very easy to use autopilot, but oh, By the way, if you ever wonder the autopilot controls are down here This is just being flown by hand. I don't know what's my distance to the NDB. I will try to not use the F10 map that much, so... I should actually get myself a knee board so I can just have the information directly on the... on the knee when I'm flying, so I can just look at it. We're doing okay on fuel. We shouldn't be burning that much. Gonna trim the nose down a bit and pull on the stick. Gonna try flying about 97% RN1. So I don't have to burn as much fuel as I will find full power. Again, I don't really have the... I mean, there's the DCS manual for the Make 21, but I haven't... I've read it once, I think. I think just once, yeah. I'm doing about 630 kilometers an hour. That's about... 330 knots. It's we're just cruising, really. This is we're just cruising now. So I'm trying to maintain more or less the same altitude.
And I, I actually put up dynamic weather, but apparently uh, it generated very good weather for me, which is still what I was hoping for. I was hoping for bad visibility, but... Well, I guess we're not getting bad visibility. The needle is starting to deflect, so we're approaching our destination soon. So I'm going to switch to channel number three. If I could only see it, that would be amazing. Yeah, we are on channel number three, but why is it not working? We are in the correct sector, two, one. Okay. Not the best coordinated turn. I don't really want to do a climbing turn. I think it's not picking up the station, or there's something wrong with it. If I switch to two, then three, what will happen? Hmm. Ah, there we go. That's station number three. Once we fly over fly that, we'll try to tune number six. Okay, let's... Actually, believe it or not, as old as but it is, this plane even has auto landing feature. Uh, well, I mean, uh, the autopilot takes you down on the glide slope. And until you almost reach the ground, then yeah, you have to do it manually. But by that time, you will be able to see the runway and just do it yourself. If we look, basically, well, we're not in the right spot, but we can zoom out, so we are here. We're going to this NDV station, and there was one, one somewhere here at the end of the lake that we need to get to, so. And why did we turn? I have no idea. Because I cannot really fly this with while looking at the F10 map, of course. This is going to start deflecting soon. We're almost at the location in question. Thank you. 
My angle of attack is actually very high. For some odd reason, I'll just trim down and pull on the stick. Let's see. According to the AOA indi indexer, well, indicator. And then we switch to station number six. And we're getting there, we're getting there. I level it off. I'm not even climbing, but Yeah, I'm flying at an insanely high angle of attack. Why is that, I wonder? Yes, I know, the beeping is very annoying. Okay, it's leveled off a bit. I just hope I don't run out of fuel by the time I reach Mazdok. Just flying the NDB. Trying to maintain altitude and speed. 
Uh, not very fast, but it's high altitude, so it's about twenty something thousand feet. So what's everybody doing tomorrow? Tomorrow is an official holiday here, so yep, I will not be working. Actually, there's a cool feature in this plane that I really like. You can click here and you get a sun visor. Pretty cool, pretty nifty, huh? Now we should be able to make it to Mozdok, hopefully. Once we reach this NDB station, we're gonna switch to station nine, and that should take us closer to our destination. Then we will try to use RSBN to reach our airfield. And we are going to use runway 08, so we'll be approaching the airfield from the west. I'm gonna set the course here already. I'm gonna trim down, trim nose down a bit. Uh, the RSPN, the, so the needle I twisted on the HSI or I think it's, it's NPP or KPP in the MiG-21, I just, just set it in advance so it's set. Otherwise we'll just be flying NDBs. We are somewhere here, so we're flying towards this NDB here, see? In Ustlabinsk and... I'm just gonna use the trim too. Keep her steady here. Luckily, we're no longer flying at a high angle of attack, so that's pretty good. Needle has deflected a bit. About one degree. That means we're approaching the NDB station. Uh, this is how NDB usually behaves. So station nine is up here. This is what we're interested in next. Okay, let's try to intercept station number nine. Okay, we are not receiving anything, but we can try turning to the southeast. So what about, I guess, heading 240 should be fine, or 210. 
We should be picking it up eventually. Just need to watch the course indicator. This should take us straight for it. Come on guys, don't be quiet. Feel free to talk. That's why I'm doing this. Or am I really that boring? Or feel free to just tell me what you think. I'm here to chat and I'm here to change opinions about anything. But remember, no politics on this stream. This is a non-political stream, and if you have any opinions to speak, we can talk about aircraft, we can speak about the weather if you like, but no politics. And other sensi sensitive topics. That might offend some people. I mean, feel free to tell me I'm a complete idiot on the fact that I suck. Uh, that's fine. I'm not going to hold it against you. You're allowed freedom of speech. Yeah, I'm going to lower that visor. This is a bit... Apparently we are not picking up any stations and we're going not really the right way, we should be going south. Specifically southeast, well, my mistake. And here's a very important detail. I forgot to set the gear lever to neutral. That's pretty bad, actually. Uh, I will be running out of compressed air if I don't if I uh, don't do that. Actually, here's a fun fact again about the MiG-21. Uh, most MiGs in DCS that are present, which are three of them, well, if you include the MiG-29, four of them, uh, have, um, I think, pneumatic air brakes. The MiG-15, the 19, and 21, and 29 
all have them. I think the Mi 23 has them as well. And if we go and check this, Station 9, yeah, it's, it, it's in this general direction, so we are heading south. So Station 9 should, should be somewhere here. It's going to take a bit for us to pick it up, but that's fine. Should have calculated before that when we reach six, uh, Station 6, the exact turn. But I didn't. So, again, pilot error. And guys, I'm sorry, if you're expecting any air combat, nope, no combat. I actually do, uh, well, I don't dislike it, I'm just not good at air-to-air -air combat. I'm quite bad at it. Mostly because, well, I can be a sore loser sometimes, so... And I think we need the visor. Should have picked up the station by now. Uh, 
Uh, just had to see. It was set on number nine, so. And how far are we? I'm just I'm just curious. Yeah, number nine is here, so we're quite still quite far. <laughs> what is this number nine? One of them. Uh, this is more or less hands off flying. So, doing about 650 kilometers an hour. Not too fast, not too slow. There we go, now I picked it up. I was out of range. And it's to the left. Just as I expected. Now I'm picking up a station. But I'm not sure what is it doing. Because that needle is just trying and trying to desperately get to it, but... And I think we might have found another bug in the Arc 9. Now it can't really be to the yes, it is to the east of me, but if I move to the if I try to turn to the east. I'm just not picking it up right for some reason. I don't get why. Could this be an issue with the Arc 9? Could it be an issue with my piloting? I 
And I'm, gonna, I'm going straight east now, so... Oh, now I really have to see what's wrong with this. And no, not this. I wanted this. I could try sector 2 to station 1. Or station 2. That's the Mazdoq NDB. So let's set up this. Ste st sector 2 to station 1. And let's turn a bit to the southeast. Oh, I actually have a station now. Or do I? Yeah, there was something really wrong with that uh, NDB station. And I do not know why. Or what. Let's go 150 and let's see what we pick up. We'll pick up something at least. Now, if, if I remember right, yeah, Mustak is to to our east-ish, but the mountains shouldn't really have any issue with that. Can we pick up the RSBN? I wonder. Nothing on our SBN yet. Okay. I don't even know what is the range of an RSBN station. Okay, fuel is 2000 liters. Well, we shouldn't be getting on fuel once we reach Mazdoq, but. And it's a good idea to start our descent. I'm really not picking up anything. Nothing on our SBN. Nothing on ADF. And I am on the right channel. Am I on 2-2? Yeah, I am on uh, sector 2-2. That's odd. Okay, I have a station. And station one was 
very close to Mazdok, so just off the mountains. Signal seems very bad. Okay, nothing on RSPN yet. This is extremely weird. So it's pointing to my left, front left. But if I turn on the needle, it's not working. That's extremely odd. Okay, I am picking something on RSBN though. And is it pointing in the right way? No, it's not exactly. Okay, what radio am I on? So I'm picking something on RSBN, but I'm not picking anything on ARC. I have no DME information here. Ah, oh, well, I didn't turn on the autopilot, but that's fine. I can fly this manually.
Nothing on ARC, nothing on RSBN, that's weird. I'm literally trying to find my way using my own eyesight now, but I don't really see that well. And if I look at the map, there is there a lake near Mazdok? No. Let's see, what is what is near Mazdok? I mean, I'm very close to Mazdok, but could it be because of the mountains I'm not getting any signal? Uh-huh, there's a signal. Is this ADF or RSBN? It's ADF. So there's something. I'm gonna start my descent anyway. Yeah, I can get the RSBN very clearly now. Hmm, not getting any bearing information either, or, or DME and RSPN. That's weird, I should have had that already. And if I'm going to be a cheetah, I should have actually received the RSPN information, at least the DME. Hello viewer, how's it going, whoever you are? That's really weird. I think there might be a bug in the MiG-21, but I really hope it gets fixed, because this used to work. The DME, or Distance Measure Equipment, is here. It's very similar to the uh, VOR DME system. It just gives you the distance in kilometers. So I'm getting the clear Morse code, but... I am not getting a bearing information on RSPN. These two lights should be on, at least on the L-13, now I know they work. Um, 14,000 feet and I should be much lower, but... Well, I'm gonna start to increase my descent rate. Let's see. Oh, 
okay. Let's try the arc 9. That should point to the right direction. Okay, well, technically I'm very close to my stuff now. Yeah, I'm getting a good signal on the arc, but... Yep, I can hear that one. And I've used RSBN before, I know it used to work. Oh, apparently there's a bug in the MiG-21, or I'm not really doing the things right, so. But apparently RSBN is not exactly giving me bearing information, but right now I'm using ARC, but. Okay, let's try to, well, let's use the F10 map as an e-board, so. Okay, so we know there are a few. Actually, this is more or less pointing in the right direction. This is Mazdaq, so we're going a bit straight into Mazdaq. And there's a river that I can use as a visual reference. Okay, which is something quite important. I should have consulted the map a little bit better. So it's a bit this way. So if we set this to RSBN. Come on, give me my bearing. Yeah, there we go. I think I'm gonna make it. The sun is setting, so well, we are getting some low visibility options here. So, yeah, but DME is not working. I have no idea how far I am from it. I'm at about 8,000 feet. So, hello viewers, how's it going? 8,000 feet, I'm trying to find my way around it. Because RSBN bearing is not working! Now, if I could locate that river, that would be amazing, because that would actually help me find my way to Mostok.
No, that's a forest. That's not a river. Okay, let's check the pseudo kneeboard map. No, no, that's that's just a road, but if I follow it, I should be able to get to Mazdok before it gets too dark. Yep, I'll try to follow that road. So, 739, 68, so let's do this. Okay, so we set the altitude for the airfield, 35 kilometers, unless that bastard gave me the indication in nautical miles, which is not something I want. Yeah, I'll have to print an print a new board map for this for this area. And with airport charts and everything. Let's see, can we? I'm so disappointed that the RSBN is not working. Usually that works really well. No DME, no bearing indication. Eh, that's not very nice. There's that town. Let's check the my AK my AK kneeboard map. There's no river ahead, but there's a river there. I'm just trying to navigate on my own without trying to use the aids too much, but and yeah, we're flying over this town. Okay. And we're approaching Ekaterin something. 
So something about the, somebody called Ekaterina. Anyway, probably Catherine the Great, the Tsarina of Russia, but. Okay, I think that's the river that I'm supposed to look for, according to the Kneeboard map, aka the F10 map. And I cheated again and I feel like horrible about it, because I was trying to navigate my way without that, but since the RSPN and ADF are not exactly being friendly today... Yeah, the airport's dead ahead. Yeah, this is the town of the town and... Seven hundred meters altitude. Let's now I don't remember where the landing light switch is on this thing. In a normal airliner, I'll probably have the landing lights on by now. Trying to visually identify runway lights, but there are none that I can see. I should have enough visibility for it, but I do not. I think that is the airfield ahead. If my eyes are not deceiving me, I'm not sure if I'm going to fly a pattern. I might fly straight in. Two thousand feet.
I'm just using the throttle. No, that is that the airfield? Looks like an airfield. No, it's not. I wish they actually had runway lights. lights well way to go mazdoc okay flaps take off of setting now let's let's fly straight in i mean i should have seen this from a long distance away gear down oh boy this is gonna be fun Let's try to keep lined up until the last moment. And gates. Okay, so, oh, well. I mean, this should have been visible more further away. Yeah, that's the outer marker. Okay, I'm gonna try to use the pedals to help myself stay lined up with this sort of a runway. Flaps fully down. Yeah, I see the, the fence. I'm a bit slow, let's try to... Come on, seriously. Okay, um, I'm getting there. Inner marker, okay, let's... Yeah, this is a very hard plane to land, by the way, guys. So if I crash, please don't call me an idiot. Yeah, go up, go up, no! Oh boy, that was a very bad landing. Well... At least we got to Mazdok. The engine's dead. Well, I think we didn't really break it that hard. We broke the landing gear. And the engine maybe has some damage. But, well, that was it. I, uh, what can I say? I mean, I like the MiG-21, but... Maybe I'm doing something wrong with the RSPN. Uh, the ADF worked fine until we got for the last station that I had put down here. And I don't know what was wrong with this. So it was set on navigation mode. I should have tried setting it on channel 22, which was for the runway, which was set, but I forgot to change the mode. And I might have to revisit RSBN operation in the MiG-21 because I was completely lost. I had to actual, actually see visually the runway. One problem I have with DCS, apparently the nighttime runways are a bit bad. And I was really hoping to do this with low visibility, but well, I mean, yeah, it's a step forward. We'll practice more and we'll get somewhere. Um, my poor MiG-21 is not totaled, but it's going to need landing gear. So at least we were slow, so the pilot is not dead. I won't eject. You cannot really exit the plane, but yep, at least this point recovery crew should be here, but there's no recovery crew in this game. Anyway, thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it if you just stopped by to watch and, you know, made some really witty comments to yourselves and look at this idiot. But yeah, that's pretty much my flight to Mazdoc. Again, I really hope they fix the RSPN if it's broken. If not, well, it was my mistake. I hope you serve... I hope you have yourselves a nice mayday. I know I will. And I will see you in the next one. Please take care of yourselves. Or don't take care of yourselves if you're badass. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next event and stream. See you in the next one. Mm, fly safe.